Elizabeth Shoesmith was moments away from marrying her fiancé when she unexpectedly halted her walk down the aisle. Instead, she gestured towards her soon-to-be husband, causing him to break down in tears. Meeting someone on Tinder can be risky, as not everyone is who they claim to be. Many have fallen victim to catfishing, a term derived from the 2010 documentary film Asterisk Catfish Asterisk. When Elizabeth matched with a man named Scott in 2016, she wisely conducted some background research. During her investigation, she discovered something about Scott that might have deterred others. Despite her reservations, Elizabeth chose not to judge Scott and agreed to a first date in her hometown of Sydney, Australia. This casual outing at a noisy burrito bar during a trivia night ironically provided Scott with an advantage in conversation due to the loud environment. Prior to their date, Elizabeth discovered that Scott was profoundly deaf, learning that he played for the Australian Dave Wallabies. Despite this revelation, Elizabeth decided to proceed with the date, and any concerns she had about communication barriers quickly dissolved. She later recalled, It was great. We had an immediate connection, and romance blossomed between them. Within 18 months, the couple became engaged, planning their wedding for January 2018. Their wedding ceremony was intimate, attended by 45 close friends and family members. Elizabeth's 16-year-old son, Dominic, escorted her down the aisle while her 19-year-old daughter, Naomi, looked on from the crowd. However, as they reached the altar, Dominic unexpectedly stepped back, leaving Elizabeth standing alone. As the music began to play, Elizabeth gestured towards her groom, Scott, conveying a message to him in her own unique way. While many brides meticulously plan every aspect of their wedding day, Elizabeth had an additional consideration beyond guests, bows, and attire. She had a special message for her soon-to-be husband, and there was only one way she wanted to communicate it to him. In the weeks leading up to her wedding, Elizabeth learned to sign the lyrics of the song A Thousand Years by Christina Perry for her groom, Scott, who had been deaf since the age of eight and had never heard the words to a song before. Elizabeth saw this as an opportunity to communicate something special to him. Despite not knowing any sign language before meeting Scott, Elizabeth was determined to learn Auslan, the Australian version of sign language, to translate the song's lyrics. She spent several months practicing and perfecting the translation, even though she admitted to struggling initially, as she had only learned the Auslan alphabet at a young age. On the day of the wedding, Elizabeth felt the pressure not to make any mistakes. She was anxious, especially knowing that Scott's deep friends would be present and able to understand her signing. However, as soon as she locked eyes with Scott, she signed the song flawlessly, feeling fortunate that everything came naturally from her heart. Reflecting on the moment, Elizabeth expressed her relief and joy at being able to convey the song's meaning to Scott in such a meaningful way. The impact of Elizabeth's gesture was evident of the wedding, with Scott visibly moved, wiping away tears. Other guests were also touched by Elizabeth's signing, although she remained focused solely on her soon-to-be husband, unaware of the reactions of the crowd. After successfully signing all the lyrics, Elizabeth joined Scott at the altar, where he responded with a gesture that conveyed his admiration for her. He pointed at Elizabeth and gave a knowing shake of his hand, implying, she's amazing, isn't she? Despite some pointing out a perceived error in Elizabeth's signing of the word darling, Scott clarified that she was actually signing his name, demonstrating her effort to personalize the song. Elizabeth emphasized in her interview with the Daily Mail that while communication may pose challenges in their relationship, their bond is strengthened by their shared experiences. She explained, Our communication has deepened because we connect through eye contact. I know he hears me.